Hey, what's up? Welcome back to the channel. We're jumping back on the Le Mans transmission swap. No name nationals time. All right, here's what we got going in. Nicely built turbo 400. FTI manual valve body with a trans brake. FTI spragless converter, get up to 1100 horsepower. The transmission should hold a thousand. Got a B&M shifter. Now, we just got to pull out the five speed and that exhaust because, well, we're not going to use the exhaust either for now. So, uh, let's get started. All right, we're going to start by pulling down this uh, crossover tube. We're going to pull out the drive shaft and uh, get inside the car, take the shifter out, all that stuff. So. Let the fun begin. Back with our Ryobi impact here. That's what we use around here, cheap stuff. Can't afford the DeWald or Milwaukee stuff. Well, crap. That ain't good, that V-band is stuck on there. All right, now we gotta loosen this V-band way up here. Hopefully, once I get this V-band off, the other side will pop loose. Cause... And then, I'm thinking, this might suck going back together if everything's this friggin' tight. Looks like I found one of my exhaust leaks too. You'll notice the multiple welds on here from uh, changing from automatic to manual, blah, 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 all that fun stuff. It may not be pretty, but it still works. snap on ratchet hammer well, probably end up ruining this v-band looks like yeah, maybe not shit well there's that out the way Now I'm going to leave the clutch pedal and clutch master and everything in the car because as soon as no name's over, manual's going back in. This car is going to be full time street car. We're going to go, we're going to build the S10 for the race stuff, I think. All right, uh, let's see here. I guess now we do the drive shaft. My drive shaft's got straps on the back. So there's four half inch bolts back here. This is a factory aluminum drive shaft out of an Isuzu Rodeo. I think it was even red if you want to catch that little red rodeo old country song reference if anybody notices let's see did the needles fall out nope all right well we got lucky there anyway okay now The AR5 has a fixed uh, shaft, kind of like uh, some imports do. So 
has to have a slip slip drive shaft in it so yeah so here's what we're gonna do on this This drive shaft will not be going back in it because it's too short. You can see you can see that spacer. Uh, it was fine on the highway and stuff, but just kind of bothers me. I'm not a big fan of spacers on the drive shaft. Uh, you can see what I'm talking about. It's got a slip yoke right there in the drive shaft because the tail shaft of the transmission. It's got this spacer on it, but it it uh, it doesn't have a slip yoke like the Turbo 400 stuff does. So. That's that. All right, now we're gonna pull the bolts out of here. That's that. It's pretty easy pulling this manual out, and it's pretty light. So now we're gonna pull this exhaust out. All right, so we got the drive shaft out of the way. We got the exhaust off. Uh, got the cross member bolts out. Basically, you need to unhook the lines off the clutch master, pull the shifter out, and transmission bolts, and it's ready to come out already. And now we gotta undo the shifter knob. God. And unscrew the shifter knob. Ain't that just the coolest shifter knob ever? Got it from Twisted Shifters. All right. Now we just uh, take this off and it'll drop down. All right, so we got everything out of it. The uh, old bolts out of everything. Um, I forgot to hit record, so it's about right for me. All right, this is gonna go one of two ways. Um, it's gonna come right out or I'm gonna drop it. I really need to invest in a transmission jack. That would be really, really handy. But I don't have one, so. We're gonna, we're gonna attempt this. Now back in my younger days, I would have just uh, set the old transmission up on my chest and bench pressed it in there, but... Alright. Get my little scissor jack out of there. The Harbor Freight Jack decided it was going to kind of sort of work today. This is gonna go up high enough anyway. Heard something pop. I'm just hoping I didn't mess up my clutch. Damn it. <laughs> oh my gosh. Alright, so now we have to get this pressure plate and clutch off of here. So we can swap the flywheel out for a flex plate. Six bolts. I used ARP bolts and uh, pretty sure I use Loctite on them. Well, I think we're gonna break out the impact for this.
had to use our chrome impact socket on it because uh, all my sockets are impact sockets. If it'll go on my impact, it's an impact socket. All right. Look at that clutch is still brand new. I did use ARP fasteners on all my clutch stuff. All right, this is probably one of the best uh, pilot bearing pullers you can get. This one's snap-on. Um, I actually bought it when I was actually mechanic and for real. I haven't always been a YouTube mechanic. So you just tighten this nut up. And as you do, it just pulls that bearing right out of the crankshaft. Here, pop it. It's in there. It ain't been in there very long either, cause and just like that, and you just reverse it. Bearing comes right out. Still perfect. Didn't hurt that bearing a bit. Earlier in the video, I said. I found my exhaust leak. One of the ways you can tell is see how black it is right here. This side don't look like that. It's, it's had some leak, but not bad. But see how black that one is around there? The thing's been leaking bad. So either that V-band's bad or the clamp's bad. I don't know. But I guess we're going to find out. All right, one thing I got to do before I forget is somebody has twisted these cooler lines off at one time and we don't want to try to deal with that in the vehicle. So we are going to try to take care of that right now. Uh, I'll probably go with uh, some braided lines and stuff, but uh, for right now, we just got to get these out of there. Like I said, I'd like to go with uh, some AN fittings and stuff like that, but this transmission is literally going to be in here for the No Name Nationals and maybe do some 10 5 events, but other than that, it ain't going to be in there very long. All right, there it is. There's the AR5. This is a Pontiac Solstice AR5. Um, it's a good transmission, just not stout enough for what we need to do. I mean, physically it looks stouter than the Turbo 400, but and honestly, they're actually the same length, so that's kind of cool. But here's where we are on the Le Mans. The Turbo 400 is in. My buddy Justin came over and helped me put it in. I need to jack the rear end up, put it on jack stand so I can measure for a drive shaft. And I'm waiting on cooler lines. Other than that, put the shifter in and it's basically ready to go. But uh, that'll be another video. So I uh, hope you guys enjoy this and wait for the next one. No Name Nationals 2023. Let's get this done.